happy. Fucking mint. It's driving. RSM's wired in. Just in the middle of doing a little bit of tuning on. She's idling and ticking over mint. I've got uh, air fuels now and tick over. Looking lovely. So, yeah, it's going good. It's good to be back on the road. around with Ray's clutch pedal because as you can see she's not the greatest and I was just making it hard to get gears so we found a bit of a pipe a bit of tube it seems to be the right length we just need to chop this old bit off and then get it down in there I'm just talking shit about your clutch oh, pedal. On the camera. Yeah. So get that in there. She should be mint. Mm. Fun crack. Oh, lots of fun. And I tried going at taking the cooling pipes off the turbos to see was that what was going on. And see here, but there's obviously another water feed line in at the back of the block that feeds the rear turbo. It's the return line for it, and it just pissed all the coolant out there earlier on, so I'm going to have to get in at that another little bit. the chop here as well just to pull that bracket off. Better, all right. Nice. Oh, yes. 
way more solid than that it's ever is been. So much better. So much fucking better. So if I cut this shaft a little bit longer than this, I'll be tighten the bolt against the shaft against and this not against, shaft against and yeah. not against the pedal. Yeah. So uh, here, there's a wire here. Let me scratch it a bit better. Yeah, well, that's just left it. Oh, yeah. Just over yeah. the fucking. And it's, you could spin it around there, Mark. Most of the uh, time. Drop it straight through that. Um. I thought you said straight rod. Close enough. <laughs> oh, I left it out yet. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sonny's. Where shall we go from this side? Huh? You got it from this side. With the lips or? Uh, the pliers has nips on it wherever we've lost that to now. Oh lord. Uh, what is no, it? No, I got a nip. <laughs> Take it. Hang on. Before you do that. Yeah, that's way past where it needs to go. Yeah, that's all right. Stick it. And she done. Man. Loads. 
Yes. That uh, hopefully you'll be able to get gears I'm again. Still going to buy that six hundred dollar pedal box though. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Is sell this one for six hundred dollars after with the engineering that's gone into it. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> I was just put it back in there. Oh, don't forget about your air. Oh, me fucking pipes, yeah. yeah. All right, so pedal box is bolted back into the car. There is about six bolts all up in here that need to be done up, and then there's one up straight up here that needs to be done and I have it bolted in and I can tell you already just by even looking at it the pedals are a lot better the clutch pedals are a lot better before because of the wear that was on that shaft the pedal was sitting down about there and then when you press it you had to get it right on the floor and then it'll only barely go in and now I can feel like it's it's so much better so much better so it looks like we're winning for the time being but i did put an ad up last night on uh australian race cars looking for a pedal box a cheap pedal box and look at different ideas to see what's going to work so i'll probably end up putting a pedal box into it at some stage there is one lad in sydney with one it's about 600 bucks so and that's without master cylinders or anything but uh Master cylinder shouldn't be that much money. But I'm thinking of going for that. But there's so much other stuff I need to buy. I want to get the ECU sorted so that I can tune it. Like this is this is working good. Like I can tune it and I can work it, but it's uh yeah, just fairly basic, fairly simple and not much to it. So something a little bit more a little more technology in it would be good so yeah i'm gonna grab the steering column now oh no i'm not gonna grab the steering column because last time when i was doing this job i forgot to put these vents in so i'm gonna put them vents in and then grab my steering column over there throw that back into it and then um aaron's after tipping back to his house he has me jack at the minute, so he's going to bring the jack over and he has another diff that he wants to throw into the back of it. We've done that job that many times as well that it'll only take us fucking 20 minutes, half an hour to do it. So, yeah, I should have this buttoned up by the time he gets back and then we get stuck into his and I have a countless amount of other jobs to do. Also, there was this setup going to the fuel wires. Now this did have a switch on it, so this was going to a switch like this, but then when we put the bigger pump into it, this switch decided to burn out, you can hardly fucking flick it anymore, and uh, we lost one of the tabs off the end of it when we were at the shop on Smoko in work, and couldn't get the car to go, figured out it was this switch that was after dying. So we pulled it off, looped the wires, and drove it back to the site, like not even not even a kilometer, maybe a kilometer, if even, less than a kilometer. And she started spluttering and blah, 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 fucking wouldn't run. And died, ground to a halt, and died, and then popped a the bonnet. There was fuel pissing out from the uh, fuel pressure regulator, which I have here. So it was flying out in around the top up here where this bolt is and all in around the seal here. And when we turned the key and checked it, the pressure was up at like 80 PSI. And I reckon what happened was this switch was holding power because I had it set like 40, between 40 and 45, as close as I could get it to like 42, 43, as close as I could get to like standard pressure. And then I reckon this switch was holding current going to the pump and then when we got rid of this switch the pump got a lot more power and boosted up to like nearly 80 psi blew the seal on the top of the diaphragm in the pressure regulator and killed it so at the minute now i'm back on the standard fuel rail and standard pressure regulator for the time being 
So the fuel rail is still good, the gauge is still good, everything else is still good, it's just this, this is fact. So I need to get a new one, I'll probably order an AEM one. I'm going to fix up this wiring so that we get rid of this fucking stupid wire. Because there's no need for it, it's literally just teed into the power wire here. So yeah, we'll just take that out, join them back together like standard. And that should be that fucking mint. So yeah. Pick back up when either Aaron's back or get the steering column in or whichever happens first. That looks like a comfortable position there, right? Better than laying the fucking floor, but anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, all back together. Nice. Smoking. Yeah, that should sort yeah. out that out. Our wire. Yeah, that was causing quite a few issues. Mm hmm. No more. Ah, and I've made a start on the dip spot. Ah, I just got to get under now and take everything apart. It'd be nice if the exhaust was in a couple of pieces instead of just one. Or, well, pretty much one. We should try line your back boxes up when we have it off as well. Yeah. See if we can tweak them a bit. Yeah. That one's not bad. That one's alright, yeah. This one's pissed us off. Oh well, we'll get into it. What was that? Half an hour? Half an hour, 25 minutes. Probably should have recorded it and done a time lapse for that, getting that quick at it now. Doesn't do it <coughs> No, and especially with the addition of this. Oh yeah. Yep, other lifts in. Uh, should we go for a little look under here? <clears throat> yeah, she's still all pretty good. All the bushings are still fairly all right. I am going to poly bush it all at some point, but I want to get my turbo and stuff done first. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything in that box. Yeah, she's all good and all dry on under this end. Nice. Uh, getting there. Knowledge. Yeah. We centered up the exhaust a little bit more as well. This will need to come out. But yeah, we get that. Do you know what I could do actually? If I got another flange bracket, I could just put it in there. Same width as that, and that is. Put it out that put little, it bit, out more. little bit more. Yeah. Might put a bit of an angle on it, but. Yeah, actually, we can pull it and drag it and get it I still need to weld up inside my arches. Oh, you can't see that side. Or the other side. Yeah. As you can see, when I was sitting the guards, I got it all out of the way, but I just want to chop. Like another 10 mil out of here, and that way we'll stop this issue. It's not really an issue, but it needs to get welded back together. Definitely needs to get welded back together. Any stones on this side? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, side she full. picks up a few stones already. Yeah, to get caught in there. Oh yeah, there was a couple of big ones in it. Yeah. <laughs> and now I get to put me ten and a halfs on the back again. More grip. It's an open diff though, so it's not really more grip. Oh well, we've took enough rubber off them to go back under the front for a while. Yeah, that's the sower back on the ground, ready to go again. They have to be loaded. The CRX is gone, clutch is good, everything's back in. Bolted up in place where it's meant to be. I've soldered my little wire, cut out my jumper harness. Um, I got a few new bits the other day. So I got a Felpro sump gasket. There's a steel in the middle and then gasket either side. So I've that to go in. 
and if this one, no, won't go back in the box. I also got the Speed Science head studs, head studs this time, not main studs. And I got a chromatic head gasket. So I have all that stuff to go in. Um, yeah, probably over the next while I'll put them in. I don't know if I want to use the head gasket yet until I get cams and valve springs and bits and pieces, but we'll see how we go. That'll be for another day. I might put the sump gasket in tomorrow. I don't know if I want to buy more oil because that oil's only after going into it. I've only done like, what, fucking nearly 500Ks on it, so yeah, maybe 600Ks. Oh, fuck, yeah. And that was the deer stuff as well. That's going to be it for today, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good shit. Peace.